Item number SCP-6632. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-6632 will remain a functioning restaurant under control of the SCP Foundation. Researchers will pose as either managers or employees of SCP-6632. If SCP-6632 exceeds its budget for any fiscal year, it will temporarily close under the guise of renovations until further appropriations have been secured. Description SCP-6632 is a sentient taco restaurant named Cow Time. Presumably based on the local Taco Time series of restaurants, food produced in SCP-6632 is sourced by Taco Time suppliers and is listed as a Taco Time franchise in company records. Located in the West Valley Mall in Spokane, Washington, United States of America, Earth. SCP-6632's brain consisted of a large mass of fat and neurons located in the cavity behind the main cow time sign. These neurons extend to many of the appliances inside the store, including the cash register, stove, fryer, and refrigerator. SCP-6632 communicates by putting words and crude figures onto the cash register's thermal paper. SCP-6632 is not capable of arithmetic or higher-order mathematical reasoning. SCP-6632's brain has been extensively damaged. SCP-6632 possesses the approximate mental capacity of a five-year-old child, and simple questions can require several days of thought before a coherent response. SCP-6632 consumes food produced during its normal operation. Food is consumed via a hole located near the deep fryer. Food inserted into the hole is conveyed upwards to a large digestive pouch via a small series of mechanical conveyor belts. As the rate of food return is high, SCP-6632 is easily able to ingest its required Daily caloric intake. SCP-6632 secretes a mixture of glycerin and additives through several holes located in the ceiling of the kitchen area. This fluid appears to act as cushioning for SCP-6632's brain and digestive organ. This mixture is non-toxic and is not anomalous. According to the owner of SCP-6632, Brain damage occurred when the sign was removed to fix the typo. The owner, thinking that the biological material was mold, attempted to remove it with bleach. An estimated 70% of SCP-6632's brain was damaged during this procedure. SCP-6632 first came to Foundation attention when it was discovered that the owner of SCP-6632 was selling large amounts of glycerin-based mixture to a group of fetishists. The fixture, when placed in adult diapers, is ideal cushioning for aroused genitalia. Online Chemical test by the purchaser revealed that the material has not been commercially synthesized. The previous manager of SCP-6632 purchased the restaurant from the West Valley Mall, where it previously sat abandoned. No records indicate when SCP-6632 was constructed. Historical photographs indicate that its existence appears to at least date to the construction of the mall and may predate it.